you can see the star 37 motor uh, built up on top of that is a star 24 motor on top of that is the Artemis lander this is a helium tank as is this one uh, there's two propulsion tanks and two uh, matching size tanks with uh, with the oxid oxidizers inside of it we'll see more four main thrusters uh, those are the primary diverts and primary descent thrusters. Yeah, uh, it's designed so that it would be pointing towards the sun, the solar panels, at all times. Once we make our traverse, after we get out of this orbit, we'd be on the moon, uh, in which case we have more of a traditional clock over of the sun. We would also be working on uh, developing the chassis, which would look similar, basic thermal mock-up of the chassis. We'd integrate all of those so that we can get our total wattage per the different angles. So this is the configuration as it will uh, descend to the lunar surface. The lander legs will collapse, bringing the belly of Artemis lander down to the lunar regolith. Once Red Rover is off of the lander, uh, it's on its own, driving under its own power, generating its own power from the sun, and keeping itself cool with its radiator.